I've been married for 12 years and in my marriage I've gone through a separation which I've talked about on my TikTok. If you don't know, you can go back and I talked about how my marriage fell apart and what it taught me. But the one lesson that I wanted to share that I've learned um, after going through the separation with my husband and we're still together. That makes no sense. I'm getting a divorce, but I'm, I'm separated and she says, my husband. Why aren't you divorced? Could it be because you still want to exact and take away those benefits that he's giving you? There's a lot of women that do that. They want to be independent, but they still want the benefits of being married. Rather, it's insurance, rather it's a house, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, let's continue. Is that I realized that you can do everything on your own. Like I had this theory or like this, you know, constant need of certain things that I just didn't feel like I could do. Like when we went through the separation, it made me realize how dependent we become in a marriage, right? Because we both start relying on each other for certain things. And I think that is conducive and that is good for a marriage. But I think we should also adopt the mentality that we are capable of doing everything on our own. That is dangerous. And it's dangerous for women. Men are gonna do that anyway, because men are the providers, right? A man should be able to provide for himself before he can provide for his family. That's the whole get down with that. So men, men have that mentality anyway, but it's really dangerous for women to think this way. And you can see it in the divorce rates, all the issues that are going around. When women adapt this type of thinking, they're looking for an out. It's an automatic out. See, it's that independent, strong woman out. This is what they're looking for. And this is the reason that they give for that. Of course, if you're a woman or a man, you should know how to do the basic things for yourself as a human being. Cook, clean, wash, all those type of things, right? Take care of yourself. Yeah, that's a given. But we're not talking about that. What these women are doing are looking for outs. And this is how they justify it. Because we must learn to do things on our own. Because it teaches us, one, things that we don't know how to do. And, and two, it builds self confidence and independence, which I think women lack because we've been grown up, especially in, you know, in certain cultures coming from a South Asian cultures, we are told that, you know, our independence is very short, right? Like go through school. And then right after that, you get married and then you have a husband and then he takes care of you. So that's like ingrained in our heads, in our minds for so many years. And so much conditioning has happened around that. Yes, you can rely on support, support versus need support versus dependence are two very different things well let me ask you this young lady if your mom your grandmother and your great-grandmother your dad your great-grandfather your father etc etc if they would have had this type of attitude that you have would you even be here i highly doubt it it's interesting to me that women are, they, they want to be independent so much, they want to out so much that they try to use all kind of justifications to make it happen. But the reality is, if those people would have had the type of mentality that she has, she might not even be here. What has worked has worked. What has worked to build families and structures have worked. It's only these independent thinking women that are destroying a lot of the fabric of what family is. And of course they wanna blame men for everything, men are controlling and this and that. Most men don't file for divorce. Most men don't leave relationships, women do, because they have been trained and taught that this is the way to be independent. Now, you can tell that she's, she says from another culture, she might be from another country, but it seems like the West has tainted her thought process. She's got around a lot of these independent women and she think that that is the way to go, but it's not. And a lot of times they do this because there's another man involved. They think that they can do better or they think that they have found better, but let's continue. My husband very much supports me, but after the separation, I've also made it very clear that I am not dependent. I'm not dependent on you for anything. I have survived on my own and I can survive and continue to survive on my own. And the only way I learned that is going through a separation. Yes, I want a strong support system, but I do not depend and rely on anyone because I am an independent and strong woman that can pick herself back up when she falls. I and there it is. 
I am an independent and strong woman that can pick herself up when she falls. Your husband is there to pick you up, give you strength when you're when you fall, just like you're supposed to do for him. So you ladies, you're making a huge mistake thinking that independence trumps family, family circles, what's going on in your immediate family with your husband, your kids and all of that. You want to be independent so bad because you're looking at the social media. You think this is the way to go. And you think all those women are so happy being independent. But the truth is, a lot of those women are straight up miserable. And the older you are, the more baggage you have, you're still married. And let's say that you were divorced, but divorced, separated, still marriage. That's baggage. Maybe you have children. That's baggage. Your age, that's baggage. So when women say, I just want to be independent, don't think for one second that it's just all about them being independent, sitting in the corner with a damn goldfish. They're talking about, I want to be independent so I can have free time to go chase men, go to girls trips, go do all these things, put myself out there in the dating marketplace. That's what that is. So when you hear women say, oh, I just want to be independent and I just want to focus on myself. I just want to focus on the kids. I just want to focus on this new nursing class that I'm in. No, there's always some type of man involved because you know what happens when women become, quote, so independent. They have a lot of other women in their ear trying to set them up with other men and get on that type of train. So it's never just about, I wanna just be independent and be so strong by myself. Usually there's another guy involved in that situation. And women like this learn the hard way. And again, and I've said this in many of my videos, ladies, please stop just listening to other women just because they're women. Misery loves company. You guys need to understand that. If you got something good, you got a good marriage. I'm not saying a perfect marriage. No, perf no marriage is perfect. But if you have some issues you can work through, work them through. That's what marriage is about. It's not supposed to be perfect. And it's damn show a not about being independent. So don't give me this whole thing about I got married and all of a sudden and I got separated. And all of a sudden I decided and I realized that I don't want to be independent and I shouldn't or dependent and I shouldn't do this. But you had time to do that before you got married. A lot of ladies like you are using this to get benefits, to get resources and then just to bounce. And then you still want to be connected to your so-called ex, your so-called ex-husband. Now you're separated. But a lot of you ladies out there are still taking the benefits from that. There's a lot of women that are out there that are completely separated. And they still get benefits, rather it's insurance, rather it's payments, whatever the case may be. Why don't you get on here and make a video once you're divorced? Once a year has passed and then tell us your story. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.